Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Going Medieval. We need to stop meeting like this. We're getting raided. It's winter. Everyone's cold. This is potentially the first test of our palisade that we uh, made in the previous episode. It's been a few in-game days just to uh, finish that whole project up since it was quite a lot of lumber that we had to go get, quite a lot of materials and time to craft it. And now we actually get to just straight up jump at the start of this episode and test it all out. So first things first, we're going to draft up the military and send everyone out. Um, we do have the additional Merlins on here and we will get to uh, see what it does to archers, hopefully. You know, I'm, I'm really hoping that it does a good job at uh, allowing us to shoot down and over this little set and also provide cover. Um, you know, we're not really facing any uh, actual archers on this round. Henrik is already up on the wall and ready to go. Enemies have not yet started running at us, which is a good sign. We are shooting. Okay. And the rest of our melee people are pretty much ready. I'm gonna probably drop back a little bit and now engage full force here. And see how this plays out. I kind of wish there was like a, a half speed or like a quarter speed setting because games like this require kind of a decent amount of pausing as I go through and try and alt. Oh, wow. Okay, Adam got knocked out pretty quickly there. Um, we got pillagers on the route. A lot of kind of combat happening here. Another pillar. Marcus is down. Okay, so kind of looks like they're they're wanting to surrender. They're not happy about this situation at all that uh, the enemies are in. Pentecost uh, is going to go ahead and start attacking these guys. They might try and start running soon. But Adam is unconscious and so is Marcus. Now Marcus did not have a very good... Uh, armor. Sadly, the plate mail that he did have uh, kind of broke recently. Archers providing uh, more shots from the walls. And I'm happy that they do shoot over the walls here. You know, I was really worried about that palisade, but uh, it seems like it worked out for us just fine. Um, all right. Final damage report. We got laceration on leg, laceration on chest, and a deep leg laceration. So he's he's kind of taken out in a good, in, not in a good shape. Max Saphir, concussion, um, bruised nose, bruised otherwise. This guy's fine. He just got concussed pretty hard. Um, we got lacerations across the board there, but uh, nothing too too bad really we can go ahead and finish off these pillagers. I feel like I need more archers. Archers are just pretty amazing with the whole, um, you know, being able to weaken, soften enemies before they reach us. Super important. All right, everyone's resolved. We will undraft. And let's See what kind of armor we got out of this. You know, sturdy male helm. You know, I'll take that. Some actual male armor. There's a shield. Uh, flimsy wool winter clothes. Not really too good there. Sturdy leather winter clothes. Flimsy male armor. You know, I'll, I'll take some armor. I think that's okay. Another fine male helm. And this is fine male armor. So we can take those armor pieces. Uh, this pillager's probably gonna die, if I had to guess. based on everything here. Um, we will go ahead and schedule everyone who is injured and potentially bleeding here. 
for a full day rest. Now, Pentecost, I don't, I don't think, uh, yeah, he just has some concussion and, and he's just in pain, so he won't need to sleep. Adam, though, Adam definitely took a little bit of a beating. He's got a sm kind of a serious laceration uh, and broken ribs and stuff, so um, we can get him to sleep as well. And hopefully our people will help them out as soon as they're able to. Looks like we got another male helmet. Some leather armor, which I suppose we can go ahead and take. Uh, otherwise, the other group of attackers, they ran. Uh, we killed one, two, three, four, five of them. Which is honestly not that bad. Sturdy two-handed mace. I don't know if that's uh, better than ours. Good to 6.25. Yeah, yeah, I'll take that. I'll definitely take that. Um, now with the you know walls up, I think we're we're pretty much a little bit better off defensively, which I like. You know I'm happy about that. That's a pretty good situation to be in, I think. Uh, everything else we'll just kind of leave out there to decompose and hopefully clean up the map a little bit. The armory is kind of zoned in here, so we're just kind of looking at DPS of some weapons. Um, Marcus is really the main guy that uses a two-hander. He's got a 4.75 base DPS Bardiche. And uh, with this base 6.25, that good two-handed mace um, is, is going to be an upgrade for him. And Adam, you know, we don't have a shield for him. He's got a good 5.0 base one-hander so we might um, just equip him with a, a shield or something I think I have some shields being crafted right now as well as soon as possible so everyone looks like they are healed and no longer bleeding or wounded in, in any major fashion so we'll go ahead and re-enable the work day for these guys start the farm it's midwinter it's it's pretty cold um, as you can see from the snow, just just coming in here uh, late at night. Um, I'm happy that the weather does give an effect to the ground. You know, I, I for one, really enjoy those type of things. Um, it is a little weird that the trees don't lose their leaves, but I guess the leaves kind of get replaced with snow. Um, I guess that might be their way to do that. Um, that way, just all the trees look like snowy, kind of covered branches. So I think, honestly, that's probably a good way to interpret that decision, which is good. Let's go down into the cellar and see what we got down here. We got uh, a bunch of raw meat. Uh, every, nothing's degrading, which is good because the temperature is so low. Everything's basically a freezer. Um, so that's good. You're not really losing anything there. And we don't really have any more clothes. We're out of flax. I, I think the amount of flax that you need is a little high. Like you need some some wide swaths of farmland uh, just to grow cloth. But I guess because it's kind of a free resource, it doesn't really have much upkeep. Um, I'm actually gonna go, go ahead and zone more flax fields for later. To be honest, and this the the rest of our crop fields honestly probably do a, a fine job at it. Raw meat, beets, barley. What does it take for some of these fine meals? To be honest, because uh, that's that's really the thing that we should have. We're gonna prioritize lavish meals, uh, herbs, I suppose, which we do have herbs, so we can make lavish meals. Something that we probably should need. Uh, is that barrel an item or no? Okay, it's just part of the the hearth there. So we survived a nice little combat round. Not too bad. I'm fine with that. 
I don't know why the other flax fields aren't growing, but maybe our, our normal farmer has just been busy doing other tasks lately to replant the flax. The flax, if you take a look at it, I mean, growth stop temperature is negative 60 degrees Fahrenheit. So um, that's real cold, real, real cold. And at the moment, I don't, I don't think we're gonna be running into that anytime soon. Um, we're gonna be working on the upper level of the keep today, long term. We just need to make sure some of our people kind of wake up here. What do we got? Deep leg, laceration, hit points. You're not really bleeding though. When wounds need tended, you must rest or sleep for wounds to be treated. You are sleeping. Okay, there you go, Pentecost. Coming in there, Adam. Where's Adam? Adam's working, man. You know, he's he's not losing any um, any sleep over this, but I'm gonna go ahead and I, I didn't see the blood on him still, so we're going to probably just give him half days until his wounds heal. So we'll let him sleep like early. Uh, so hopefully someone comes over and tends to their wounds. Tending wounds, yep. Yep, okay, so people are coming over and tending wounds on people. Tending wound failed, tending wound succeeded. Um, someone else gonna try on Adam here. Tending wounds failed, wow, okay. We're, we're not doctors, it seems. We're not very good doctors on here. Giving it a whirl. Okay, wounds tended, good. So that means we can bring Adam back into the fold. There we go. And that's, the, and, and that's the best way to heal. You know, just go ahead and assign them to sleep and hopefully other people um, who are scheduled for, for that. I, I went ahead and just made everyone priority 10 because medicine, you know, just like RimWorld or something like that, you know, your doctor could get knocked out and no one else is set for it and you don't realize it. And then he gets, you know, people start bleeding out because you're, you're not really watching um, that whole situation in a good way. Uh, red current shrubs, fine. All right, so we have a good little break. Uh, Marcus, you're gonna go ahead and equip this two-handed mace. You're also going to need a new piece of armor, which I'm thinking fine male armor. So that'll be good. That'll be good. Uh, pent cost, um, sturdy leather helm, but this flimsy leather helm, you know, is pretty good too. We'll give you a sturdy leather helm on here. And we'll also give them, well, we're actually making new shields. Honestly, they should probably be using new ones. Uh, this flimsy one doesn't have much HP, but we might use it till it breaks. So go ahead and equip that as well. Fine steel short sword is base DPS 6.6. .6. I don't think I honestly have anything close to that. I've been trying to make my own sword, so let's see um, if there's any good ones made. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, doesn't, nope. No good ones made, but we got, uh, you know, decent armor on him. Uh, you know, it will, it will suffice for a little bit longer. Adam, uh, you don't have a shield yet. And you don't have armor right now, so we will equip the leather armor. And that helmet. That'll probably suffice. Male helmet as well. Good to go. We're just waiting for that shield to be made for him. Because he's going to need one. Uh, Michael's going to need a new shield too. Currently don't got one. Uh, we got a fine male helmet for him. And we can give him a flimsy male armor piece. Which would work out just fine. Come on, Michael. Get over here. There we go. Equip that too. 
And how's his weapon? Base 3.56, so we can actually give him a better weapon. 4.25. Let's come down here. Uh, 4.25. 4.25. Everything, our, all of our one-handers are essentially 4.25. Cool. Um, 14%, 10%. Yeah. I think we're all right. Body armor, 19%. How's his helm? It's getting pretty weak, so if we find another helm, Marcus might have to grab it. Just look out here to see if I left one on the ground. Nope. So there you go. Equip some new people with a whole bunch of stuff that we have found from all these raiders. Look at how much lumber we have. We have a decent amount now. Um, and we are just kind of waiting for some bricks so that we can start more construction. What, what is this? Just stuff on the ground? Okay, that's fine. It's a sturdy British. I just wanted to see that. that amazing um so this area this is going to be the staircase up to the second floor that's kind of going to go over a lot of this area here and we'll just go ahead and zone that in so i'm going to put some wooden floor up here because i want to I think I have these reversed. I don't know the best way to install these Merlins, but uh, I think I had them the wrong way. Let me, let me deconstruct some of these. Let's spin them around 180. I don't, I don't like the little lip that's kind of getting created here. Um, kind of feels like the slope side honestly isn't the correct it should be the side that's facing outwards because I think that would look better but at the same time I guess maybe not not really sure so there we'll just have a little bit of a wall Waking up. <clears throat> and now we can maybe start using some bricks through here to uh, kind of generate our upper floor. At least the cornerstones that's going to really support this thing. Double wide pillars for the corners, make them real heavy looking, you know? And I'm gonna extend the floor to there. And then just normal limestone everywhere else. 
Well, actually, let's get some windows in first. Some block windows. The block windows look real nice. They're like arched windows. I honestly like them a lot. So we'll get them installed. And maybe here, just for convenience sake, we might be able to get a door. Um, I haven't found a non-wooden door yet. And then the normal is going to be... Whoa, what, what's this? Ken Wolf, welcome to Aldford. He needs to get in here. So that means we're going to be needing a new home in the town. It looks like I kind of botched this corner a bit. That's okay though. What about something like this to get up into this upper area? So they don't have to come outside to get onto a little wall there. stone wall everywhere else so this will probably be a little bit more of a living spot if I had to guess I'm gonna need a wooden beam here um, I kind of wish there was like a stone beam variant or like a stone arch I guess it would be more like a stone arch placed here. Because we'll need it. And I'm gonna fill in this stuff with limestone walls just to make it look better. Like it actually fits the terrain a bit. Mind that spot out. There we go. We need to uh, get a lot more limestone, it seems. So we'll build that. Uh, we'll also need to get a little bit of a uh, staircase down to the next level of this limestone quarry. So this is probably going to have multiple rooms up here for probably just more citizens, to be honest. I might not build another house. We might just start putting some people in the in the keep itself. Um, and then we'll build some defensive towers, too, off of it. And then that'll be it for this. It's not going to be a super tall building, I don't think. I'm going to try and keep this kind of basic, to be honest. Um... I didn't really plan to build a giant castle in this series, so you might might not do that. Because this is kind of the still, you know, I consider this a first look, first playthrough. Um, if we come back to this game after that, get some updates and stuff, um, I'll definitely come back and, and just straight up start building a, a fortress, I think. think about decorations eventually too because we did we did unlock that I don't have any more research I'm gonna activate one more research table again till you have You know, I have a feeling when you spin those, you, you, it keeps counting. So I think I think we have research a total of 2,000 
total research points. Which might be accurate, actually. I'm not sure. That would be 20 things or so that we researched. So let's see. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Uh, so that's, you know, 1,400 and then another 700. So yeah, I think that's, that's about accurate. That's a real rough calculation there. Okay. Base. Good, we still have plenty of lumber. Yeah, this is gonna take a while to build, even with the new guy, which we'll have to look at the new guy real quick. Uh, Sinwolf. Maybe, maybe we can call him Beowulf. Uh, let's look at his medical. He's, yeah, he's got a seriously whipped back, but uh, you know he's 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 gonna be fine. Uh, he'll he'll recover from that. Uh, flimsy leather winter clothes. That's probably not gonna be comfortable enough. Let's go down a floor and see what we else. Oh, flimsy wool, sturdy wool. That's about broken. Flimsy leather. Flimsy linen. Surprised I don't have any good clothes, you know? Sturdy, no. It's a little disappointing that I don't. What are your skills like, guy? Marksman's actually level two. You're an okay cook. Well, let's get let's get the wool winter winter clothes on him. So he has some clothes. I think that's fine. And we'll try giving him the war bow. Making him another archer. So the war bow is here. Okay, so he has a war bow. Give them some leather armor. And uh, this, you know, kind of weak leather helm. For now. So, there we go. We gained another archer. We're up to four total archers and uh, four total melee. I think that's a good percentage there. So we... We'll be pretty protected long term for sure. So yeah, we're just kind of keep mining this out. I'm going to need a lot of limestone, I think. And we're going to be going through a decent amount of bricks. So we'll probably be continually producing bricks uh, with those stone pieces. And I might even double up this portion by the door. Create something and maybe even um, start. Oh, do I? Do I? Is there a half uh, wall bearing of the stone? Oh, violent extortionists have come for Sinwolf. Refuse to give in. Nine raiders. Okay, they're scaling up. And uh, that's a little concerning. So let's see where the raiders are coming from. No bowmen. So which way are they walking? Because that matters the most. Uh, making making sure that I'm able to go to the correct palisade to uh, cut them off. Okay, so it looks like they're walking this way, which is actually good. This is like a straight palisade. So we're gonna go ahead and recruit everyone. Get them down here. Dior and Sinwolf will send up here. And Osana and Henrik will send up on the other side. Hopefully the bones and things kind of deter the enemy morale. 
uh, Dior, you might not want to stand in the spikes. All right, our archers are opening fire. Um, now this is bad. This is not what I wanted to happen there. So what I'm going to do is stack up on the opposite end now. Where is everyone else? Are they on their way over? Uh, we probably had a little bit, uh, you know, we weren't probably completely ready for this. Pentecost here is going to have to start holding the staircase. Archers are going to have to really start opening fire here. Uh, they're up in the archers. That's not what I want. It's not what I want at all. I can't really see what's going on. Um, we're going to have to move the archers over to the other side. Get, get them out of there. See if, see if we can move them. Oh boy, they're they're locked on those archers. That's not good. So that means I'm going to have to just essentially have them run. Okay, so they're wanting to flee now. Oh my god, please stop cheering. Okay, that's really frustrating that they cheer like that. I don't want them to. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. See if we can get that last guy before he disappears. Shoot him. Oh, got him. Oh boy, he's deflecting with that shield. Shields are pretty strong, I like that. They even offer some passive uh, bonus, I'm sure. Trying to use the archers to get a lot of the kind of damaging blows here. Where is everyone else? Look at those. That shield absorbing all that damage. Still doing it. All right. Let's go ahead and undraft. <clears throat> Marcus, it looks like his armor broke in this fight, but that's fine. Let's let's see what we got. We got some more uh, male helmets. That leather helmet's actually pretty healthy. That good wooden shield might work for us as well. Fine male armor. A lot of flimsy stuff. Ooh, and that's a decent reinforced shield. Another helmet. about stuff out here. We got a sturdy two-hander. Oh, this guy is shield because he blocked a decent amount. Yeah, reinforced shield. We'll take that. And uh, Michael, what are you, what are you doing out here, man? You need, to, you need to get back.
All right, so we're, we're treating wounds. Things seem to be uh, working out in that regard. Everyone's still pretty cold, but I think they'll they'll live. Let's, uh, let's see here. Bruised arm, severe. That's not really going to hurt us that much. Bruises, concussions, minor lacerations. Minor lacerations and bruises. Yeah, our, our archers definitely took a beating on that one. You know, and, and that's just because... Uh, I'm going to have to build, like, a defensive wall here, I think. To kind of ensure that they don't do that again. And honestly, I'm going to do that on both sides. So, you know, th these are the Palisade, uh, you know situations that you're gonna run into uh, you know plans hitting the enemy uh, they don't always succeed the way you think but uh, overall you know another wintry cold day survived uh, we're gonna be finishing up the keep probably in the next episode I'm gonna go ahead and probably finish it in between episodes so you guys can kind of take a look at it and uh, maybe some other little side builds so you can see kind of a finished thing and with that we're going to go ahead and end this episode here. So uh, thanks so much for watching. If you guys want, you can go ahead and ring that bell to get notified for more videos like this in the future. Uh, feel free to subscribe. Leave a comment on what you guys think of the game so far. It's early beta. Keep that in mind. And we'll see you all in the next video.